Good morning, you guys. Mommy's in rough shape. Mommy needs to get her shit together. I went to Scottsdale on Monday for the sole purpose to party with my friends, and oh boy, did I. Okay, I woke up the next day at 8 a.m. for my flight. Jack woke me up. He was like, don't miss your flight. We got to go to the airport. I said, Jack, respectfully, that's not happening. So I booked a night at the Holiday Inn. I went to my Holiday Inn. I shut all the shades, and I didn't leave my bed all day, and I rescheduled my flight for the next day, which was yesterday. Um, woke up so hungover still. Like, I had a two-day hangover. It was rough. My whole airport experience was just rough yesterday. I vlogged it on TikTok, so if you if you care about why my airport experience was rough, it has to do with a very large vibrator dildo that sort of looks like a torture device. Really fucked up my airport experience yesterday, um, but I got home. I got my life back in order a little bit. I like cleaned, I... Um, that's it. And today I have to get my life back together. And so I decided I would vlog because I haven't vlogged in like three weeks. I'm so sorry. I've been vlogging on TikTok, like living my life. Like, I don't know. I But I've missed you guys so much. So hi. How are you? I just had the most interesting conversation with my boyfriend on the phone. And I, I have to share. So I trust Colin like a lot. Like this relationship is a lot different from my past relationships. Um, So I trust him fully. So there's really no reason for me to be pulling out like my old investigative skills like I just don't need to but it is fun sometimes to be a little investigator so I would do small things here and there like when we first met like obviously I would stalk his like tagged photos okay and I like knew his whole social group before he even told me about them because I saw them in his tagged photos and he called me just now when I woke up and we were chatting about how the other day he was at like a car meet and I was just like curious to see what this car meet was all about so I just like Went on his location, I saw Byron Raceway, so I went on the Byron Raceway website and I looked at their calendar and I saw the car meet that was on the day that he was there and I looked up their Instagram. <laughs> and he was acting as if this was like the coolest thing in the world. He was like, you're so smart, baby. Like, how'd you figure that out so fast? Like, you're such a good investigator. Like, I'm so proud of you. I was like, that was so easy. Like, you have no idea the things that I used to do. And he was like, oh no, I do. He was like, yeah, like since we've met, like I've done some deep research. Like, I know everything. I was like, I fucking love you. Like, that's awesome. It made my day. Cause I had no idea that like, some guys were like that too. Like he's done his fucking research. I love that. He was like, sometimes I ask you questions that I already know the answer to. I was like, I fucking love you and I want to marry you. That's insane. He just texted me. Oh, I remember another example. Cause I was like, you have to give me examples. Like I need to know the details of your stalking. Like this, this is making my day right now. I was supposed to work out first thing this morning, but instead I talked to my boyfriend on the phone for an hour. So I don't have time anymore. So I might work out later, but I don't have time right now. My favorite like canned coffee in the whole world, you guys, it's so good, is called Pop and Bottle. And they sent me a PR package yesterday and I'm literally so happy. But they sent me like all their like canned lattes, like for example, here's a few. This is the one I normally drink. It's just like the classic one, but then they have like caramel, they have mocha, they have vanilla, they have like a bunch of different like canned lattes. But then they also sent me their concentrate, which I didn't even know they made. So they have like all the different flavors in concentrate. So I poured the vanilla latte into a cup of ice and then I added concentrate on top for like extra caffeine and it's so good. I have to like feed the pets right now and stuff cause I've been like, I've been awake for like an hour and a half and I haven't even woken up my bird yet. So that's bad. Okay, I have no groceries in my house so I'm making a protein shake for breakfast. I love my protein shakes, don't get me wrong, but I really only make these when I have no groceries. We have to go grocery shopping today. Colin just called me because he's on lunch. He was like, I hope you don't think I'm crazy. I was like, no girl is ever going to think that that's crazy. Like, we do that. I just personally never knew that guys did that too. I love that. I think that's awesome. I was like, I would have done the same exact thing if I had more content to go off of. Like, you don't have much on social media. He was like, yeah, I've never had this much content to work with. Like, your whole life is on the internet. I was like, oh yeah, it must be fun for you. I have nothing. Frozen banana, a pitted date, a scoop of this um, care of vanilla plant protein powder. Oh, all over the counter. A scoop of this Saqqara metabolism super powder. I got this from Erwan. I'm doing just like a little scoop of peanut butter, some hemp seeds, a dash of maple syrup. I'm gonna put some of this coffee concentrate in there to make sort of like a 
coffee protein shake. I'm using the vanilla pop and bottle coffee concentrate. I'm doing half of this frozen coconut smoothie pack. I normally don't add like f berries to my protein shakes because I think that that's weird, but I feel like this needs more substance. I don't know what I'm missing. I like forget. So I'm doing frozen blueberries. I don't know if that's gonna be good, but. And then I just did some water and I'm adding a little bit of oat milk. Mm, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna get ready for the day and I'm gonna call my boyfriend because he's on lunch break. Okay, I just got ready for the day. I'm just wearing this like comfy, like gray long sleeve from Aritzia and I'm wearing my girlfriend denim jeans that I love so much and my new balances. My new balances. I was gonna wear my mini platform Uggs today, but then I decided to wear my sneakers. My house cleaner is gonna be here in like 10 minutes. I only have her come like once a month because I love cleaning myself like I just like I don't need like a house cleaner all the time like I love to clean but there are certain things that I don't clean and I won't clean my shower and my stove and like my couch like I don't like there's like um uh like slip covers on all of my cushions that you can take off and like wash in the washing machine I don't do that like whenever I'm just like cleaning I'll just lint roll my couch or like vacuum it but when she comes every month she'll like take all the slip covers off and like wash them for me. And when I got back from the airport yesterday, I noticed butt stains on my couch from my cats. Like there's three butt stains. So I texted Melina immediately. I said, hey, are you available tomorrow? I need some help over here. Okay, I'm driving to a couple Targets right now because I have to find the Olipop likes makes mini cans now. And I'm doing a brand deal for them with the mini cans. So I have to go find those at a Target. You guys don't realize like how much of a dream this is. Like I've been so obsessed with Olipop for ever now. And they started like sending me, like they started gifting me like a few months ago. And that was like, like I couldn't even believe it. And then they reached out to my manager like two weeks ago and asked if um, I wanted to work with them. And I was like, like I think I literally cried. So I'm doing three TikToks for them. I've already done one and they want me to do one with the mini cans, so I have to go find those. He had an ego and a temper and a wandering eye. He said he's six foot two, and I'm like, dude, nice job. I did just find this in my purse. <laughs> okay, I went to two Targets, and I can't find the mini cans, so I think I'm just gonna, like, Instacart them later. I have a call with Olipop in literally five minutes, and I'm so excited because clearly I'm a huge fan. Um, so I have a call, like a Zoom meeting with them in a couple, so I'm just gonna take that in the car. Wait, you guys are about to see me being like the biggest little fan girl on the phone right now. I'm gonna be like, I'm such a big fan. <laughs> you guys, it's an honor. So nice to meet you. I was on just sliding in your DMs constantly. Oh, huge <laughs> fan, huge fan. This is an honor. You're a huge fan of you. Oh my goodness, <laughs> stop. Oh my God, that was like the best call I've ever had. They're so fucking cool. Their whole team is so awesome. I met with three of them and that was so much fun. We love each other, we get each other. That was so fun. Now I have a call with Dodo. I don't know if you guys have ever seen um, Dodo's TikTok. They do like videos. Um, they do like stories with people about their pets and like stuff like that. And they wanted to have a call with me about possibly doing a video with one of my pets and I'm in between doing Marty, Roger, or Phoebe because they all have pretty interesting stories. Um, so I have a call with them right now. So I'm gonna take that one now. I'm excited to talk about my pets because I do that anyways. I'm always boring people that don't care about like random stories about my pets. So now I have a call with people that do care and they just want to hear about my pets. So that's great. Hi. Hello. I love your background. Oh, thank you so much. This is, uh, this is my dog, Pirate. Okay, I'm done with both of my calls, and I'm literally racing to a cafe because I have to pee so bad. Of course, I have no cups in my car. Like, it's only, like, there is so much, like, garbage in my car, mostly. Like, not gross, but, well, I'm not too awesome at keeping my car clean, so there tends to be a lot of, like, empty coffee cups laying around, so, like, normally I have somewhere to pee. But there's no trash in my car right now, so I'm racing to the cafe so I can get a coffee and pee.
Okay, I'm at the Grove because I have started to look at Christmas decorations because I'm so excited to decorate for Christmas this year. I've always loved decorating for Christmas, but normally I just like go to Target and get like four things and like call it a day, but this year I'm going hard. I'm going fucking crazy. I want to invest in like really nice Christmas decorations that I'll have for the rest of my life, so I got... I ordered a really nice um, like artificial pre-lit tree from Balsam Hill and that came in the mail the other day. And then I, I wanna go to William Sonoma and Pottery Barn today to like look at Christmas decorations and like ornaments and stuff. I hope they have Christmas decorations out right now because it's not even Halloween yet. I feel like they do. I just didn't wanna order it online because like, m like half the fun in Christmas decorating for me is like picking out the the decor at the store so i didn't want to like order it online so i'm here and i hope they have stuff like set up already i'm also kind of hungry there's this really cute coffee place at the grove called la la land but every time i go the line is like insane so i never get to like get coffee there or eat i have a couple times but usually whenever i go i'm like fuck that the line is so long but i'm gonna go check it out right now because they have like a toast menu that I've always wanted to try but I never have and I'm kind of hungry so I want to check out their avocado toast. Calling on the phone, you guys say hi. What's your favorite thing about me? My favorite thing about you is when, uh, whenever I get home from work and I'm walking up to you and you're greeting me or whatever, you always have the same smile, you always make the same noise, and you always tilt your head to the left and <laughs> say, like, hi, baby. Or something like that. You guys, it wasn't my fault. Um, I was. I, I was at William Sonoma looking at like Christmas ornaments and stuff and Pottery Barn also has like really cute ones So I wanted to go and they have like actual Christmas decorations William Sonoma is more of just like a kitchenware sort of deal So I plugged Pottery Barn into my GPS and I went here and it just so happens that Rodeo is the next street So I sauntered over to Rodeo and I may have went into Prada and I might have bought something But listen you guys I've never bought myself a nice handbag before all of my handbags are fake I have a fake Prada bag, I have a fake Chanel, I have a fake Louis Vuitton, like I just have a bunch of fake bags that I hardly even like use and I could never get like a nice designer bag because they're all like calf skin and stuff so I could never like get one but I found one that's like quilted um, cloth from Prada and I bought it. Look at this fucking bag and it's so Christmas and it's so cute and I love it and I'm just so excited because I have bought like a bunch of like Chanel bags and stuff for Jordy, but I've never gotten myself a nice bag like this and I'm gonna have this forever and then my daughter is going to have it. So it was a good investment and I'm, that was a, not a horrible decision at all. I texted Colin, I was like, don't ask why I'm on Rodeo right now. When I looked at your location, I saw you were at the Prada store. <laughs> did. You guys, I was telling the, the Prada um, guy who was like selling me my bag I was telling him like why I ended up there I was like I didn't mean to be here like I was at Pottery Barn because I want to get like unique ornaments this year and he was like oh like you know Prada has Christmas ornaments like do you want to see them I was like not really like how much are they $850 for a four pack I was like sir I've always gotten my Christmas ornaments at Target I'm upgrading this year to Pottery Barn like I'm not I don't think I'm ready for Prada Christmas ornaments so um Melina's still at my apartment cleaning, so I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping now because I have nothing in my house, um, and I have to get Marty food, so I have to go to Erewhon. I don't really want to go to Erewhon. It's just like, maybe I can get him all this stuff at Whole Foods. Um, so maybe I'll just go to Whole Foods, but. I'm at my old neighborhood. Whole Foods like from when I used to live in Hollywood this is the grocery store that I used to shop at and when I first moved to LA I would shop at like Trader Joe's and then I realized that Emma Chamberlain would was grocery shopping at the Whole Foods that was near me so then I started shopping here just in case like one day I would run into her and I used to cry in my car 
every time I was driving to this grocery store because I would like replay like what I would say to her if I met her and I would start crying in the car. So just to cash out old memories in here. Oh my god, I just got home. My apartment looks so good. My girl that cleans my apartment for me is does such a good job every time. Everything is sparkling and I'm so happy. I haven't showed you guys my new sheets because I haven't been vlogging, but I'm in my floral era. I got these like really cute printed sheets from, it's like a Love Shack Fancy and Pottery Barn collab. And it's so cute. And then I also got a new comforter from Brooklyn and since we've last spoken, so. Oh my God, my bathroom looks so good. I love Melina. She does such a good job. Okay, so at the grocery store, I got some stuff to make my like veggie spring rolls that I eat. I got Persian cucumbers, green onion, avocados, some iceberg lettuce. I got the field roast Italian garlic sausage. This stuff is so good. And I got some peanut sauce. And then I want to start eating my chia pudding in the morning again. So I already have chia seeds, but I got my favorite probiotic unsweetened yogurt to like mix in with the chia pudding. And I got almond milk. I got this Michelle's granola. I got raspberry jam. And I got blueberries and strawberries. And then I want to make stir fry for dinner. So I just got carrots. I got a zucchini, bell peppers, shallots, broccoli, and this like stir fry sauce. I've never used stir fry sauce before. These are so good. I used to eat these like every single night. They're just like crispy rice things called rice browns. And then I just topped them with avocado and jalapeno. And I got my vegan eggs. I got some oat milk for my coffee. I got a banana and tofu for Marty. I got this vegan vanilla ice cream because I want to make ice cream floats tonight with Olipop. And I finally found Celtic salt. I've been looking for this for months and I finally found it at my old neighborhood Whole Foods. So maybe that place is good luck, but I finally found the Celtic salt. I've been drinking lemon water in the morning and I wanted to do Celtic salt lemon water, but I've never been able to find it, so. <laughs> okay, I'm feeding everyone dinner right now. I just meal prepped a little bit for Marty so I don't have to like cut up his shit every morning. I cut up broccoli, cucumbers, carrots, strawberries, zucchini, bell pepper. I cut up tofu. Now I'm gonna feed the cats. I'm drinking an Olipop. I can't tell if I'm hungry or not. I can't tell if I want to start cooking dinner now or and then go on a walk or go on a walk and then cook dinner. But I can't tell if I'm hungry because I'm always shaky and I can never tell if it's from hunger or just because I drink too much coffee. <laughs> and so. <laughs> Hi, bird. Hello, Brad. Okay, I'm actually gonna go to the gym before I start dinner because I was supposed to go this morning at like eight or nine, but my boyfriend ended up, um, he was like driving around at work today. Um, so he called me and we chatted on the phone for like an hour and so I didn't go to the gym. I love when he has to like drive the work truck around while he's at work because then he can like call me. <laughs> so I, ended up talking to him instead of going to the gym. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do 12, 3.30 and I'm gonna watch Alex's, Alex Earl's new podcast episode. This is my favorite outfit to wear to the gym. I wear it all the time. These are my aloe three inch line shorts. And then I got this um, just like black t-shirt from Nudes. They make perfect t-shirts. Like it's so cute. It's like the perfect fit for me. I'm obsessed with it. And then just like my Nike sports bra that I wear all the time and my hokas, so. Lakers just came in fucking hot. I'm like so happy. Tonight's the first game of the season. They're playing the Suns and they look amazing. They look amazing. I'm so excited for this season. The starting five is amazing and I'm just so happy. I'm filming like an aesthetic TikTok right now for a brand. I'll show you guys when it's done. But I just filmed two brand deals 
and one of them i'll show you guys the aesthetic nighttime vlog that i did <laughs> it was for l'occitane l'occitane the skincare brand i don't know if i can put the song in this or if i'll get copyrighted i'm gonna do it anyways because i'm freaking badass How cute am I? And then I just filmed a brand deal for Olipop, and now I have a freaking root beer float because of my brand deal, and I'm just so, I'm just so happy right now. There was a Halloween party tonight that I really wanted to go to because these girls just throw amazing Halloween parties every year, but I just can't, I can't, I can't make it, I'm sorry. While I was drunk the other night in, in Arizona, I like made plans to go with Mike to this party and he texted me yesterday. He was like, hey, so what about that party? I was like, Mike, I can't. I'm so sorry. I'm just like out of commission for the week. He said, come on, Tara, you got one more in you. You'll be fine. I said, no, I don't think, I don't think that that's right. I, I can't go. I said, I'll think about it just to like kind of like make him feel better. And then he texted me again today and he was like, hey, I said, Mike, it's not happening. Sorry. I am gonna go to J-Rod's party though, like on Halloween. What's today? Today's Thursday. J-Rod's Halloween party is on Tuesday. So I'm gonna go to that, but like I can't do that tonight. So I'm gonna do my peak and pit right now. Okay, my peak today was, my peak today was like learning that my boyfriend is like a little nuts. Like I love that because guys aren't usually like that. Guys are normally like, oh, I don't care. Like. No, I don't like look at your social media. Like I don't stalk you at all. Like got like and that gives me like that they don't care vibes. And then girls are always the crazy ones that like do all the research and shit. I love that he's like that. I fucking love it. He was like, "Babe, I know it all. Like I've I've literally stalked your entire life cuz it's all online." I was like, "Colin, I love that." <laughs> like that was literally my peak. Um and like having the call with Olipop today was really fun. Like their team is just really cool. Like I loved that. I loved talking to them. That was awesome. Um, and my pit, my pit was, I found out today. Well, I should have already known this, but like I did already know this, but like it just sort of, uh, I don't know. I, I really thought about it today and it kind of fucked me up and I cried over it. But like basically, so my minimum payment for the house that I bought, I haven't shown you guys my new house, but I showed it on t I show it on TikTok all the time. I've shown the house on TikTok a million times, so like you guys have seen it on there. But the minimum mortgage payment every month is twenty five thousand. Seventeen thousand of that every month goes towards interest. Okay, and then five thousand goes towards taxes and insurance. So every month when I pay twenty five thousand for my mortgage, only twenty eight hundred is going towards the house. I, I couldn't, I, my, I was really thinking about it today and I started bawling my eyes out in the car. Um, so that really fucked me up. But yeah, leave your peaks and pits down below. I want you guys to start commenting your peak and pit. And I'm gonna read all of them and it's gonna be so much fun. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for hanging out. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a few weeks. That was really fucked up of me, but my camera's about to die. I'm like talking really fast. If you wanna follow my other social medias, my TikTok and my Instagram are both Tara's World. My OnlyFans is It's Tara's World and I'll link my Amazon Amazon storefront down below with all my shit and I love you guys thank you for watching I'll be here watching the Lakers game and literally screaming at the TV living my best life eating my root beer float okay bye love you